I'm going to start this uh, update of what's blooming with some sad news. So yesterday I noticed that this uh, standard Catalea was in bloom and it's uh, LC Patrick Joseph and um, it's got these blotches all over the flowers and I don't know if it's virus but the blotches look really suspicious and so I've taken it out of my grow area and brought it downstairs um, thinking that I'll enjoy the flowers and then uh, it's gonna throw it out so I mean it's just it looks really really suspicious I mean if you look at this right there those blotches and they're on the back side of the flowers as well you can see them on the back sides and there's another two buds that haven't opened and you can see on at least one of them that there are blotches um, on those uh, sepals and petals as well so there are blotches on the sepals and petals that I can see on these buds and so I suspect uh, it's not just uh, say one stem issue but a whole flower issue um, I mean you know it has some sun damage stuff like that but I don't know if it came virus or it caught it um, I don't know if it's virus but uh, for sure it doesn't look great on the flowers and so I think I'll let it bloom out and then uh, that'll be it for this compost garbage I have some other orchids downstairs um, cause I want to be able to enjoy my flowers and I can't when they're all in the grow room um, this is my uh, Carrie Stromsland Elizabeth uh, it's very nice. It's scented. It's also standard Catalea. Um, I can't decide if I want to keep it or not, but it has four big, beautiful flowers in it, on it. Um, I took it to the, um, Illinois Orchid Society meeting for the show table and there's some damage on this petal as a result because it got banged up, um, during transit. Uh, let's see, I have my Zygopetalum Jumpin' Jack that I got from Hauserman's at their open house uh, here next to it. Try to get a better look at the flowers. Uh, I also have my SOOS Celebrates 50 uh, Latoria type Dendrobium down here. Uh, it's been in bloom. Uh, since the iOS spring show, so at least six weeks now. The Latoria types are really nice. They can bloom up to three months. Um, the hardest thing down here is that its pot is really, really um, full of roots, as you can tell, and keeping it watered is really hard downstairs. So, uh, got a water lot. And then I have a no ID phalaenopsis in bloom here. It was supposed to go and uh, be sold um, for the Illinois Orchid Society, but I forgot it because it was sitting up by a window upstairs because I had uh, taken it to the fall uh, meeting or the fall show and sale to be sold. And um, when I picked it up, I accidentally broke the spike, as you can see right here. And so then I set it aside and it respiked off the next node down. And then of course, I, uh, I didn't want to break it a second time. So I took it off the floor and I put it uh, by a window upstairs in my grow area and then I promptly forgot it. So I guess it'll just have to roll around to the next fall show and sale to be sold. Okay, uh, now continuing on with my update, I had to pause briefly to uh, have a fiber installed in my house. Um, my, let's see, let's start at one end of the room and go through everything that's going on or else I will forget plants. Uh, the Vandas that I'm, some of them are babysitting that didn't get given away to iOS members are 
sort of alive. The um, Vanda that I got for myself um, during the show that was a free giveaway, this is the purple one, is not doing well. So it has lost all of its lower leaves. And so now I have stuffed it in um, an old humidifier container in hopes of hydrating it and keeping it from losing the rest of its leaves. Though I suspect this will be in the compost next month. Um, let's see, up here. This is my um, Carolyn Reed Glowing Embers. It, this has three flowers right now, and then it had three other ones that are already sort of done. Um, next shelf down, this is my Frosty Dawn that I got at the CBG after sale. It's still blooming. It lost a bunch of lower leaves, and I don't know if it's just the shock or it's not getting enough water. Uh, this right here, which looks like sort of like a Frosty Dawn, but it's not, is Precious Pearl, which is Margarita Cum by Cruentum. Um, it looks a lot like Cruentum. And put that away. I have a, it's still working on spiking. This is an Encyclia Cordigera. Um, I have it up here so I wouldn't accidentally break the spike on it. Uh, in the back, right here by the window. That's my Oncidium spasilidum. Um, it gets, puts out really, really tall spikes. Uh, and I have it by the window because literally like when it spikes, it just, it's so tall. Uh, the plant's actually down here on this lower shelf, way in the back, right? So see there, there's a spike going up and there's the flower starting to show up. Uh, let's see, I have, okay, my uh, Potnar Village Cheap North right here has uh, a three bud spike, not open yet. Uh, this Ruby Delight is pretty much done now. Uh, I had a second blooming on my Dendrobium Gold Shimini Annum. It's uh, done now. Um, I also don't know if it likes being so hot. Uh, this one's really interesting. It's very pink now, but it starts off um, a very light pink, almost white. And uh, I think I think it might be some kind of albiform. Um, not completely alba, obviously, but it's not as brightly pink as the other Goldschmidt atoms out there. Okay, so let's see. I have here, this is... Uh, this has got two spikes. It's around the edge here because I basically have to huddle under the van just to look at it. This is my Oncidia, Oncidioda Jimbo Swarm. Right there. Uh, it's very prolific. Um, I'm gonna have to rearrange my shelves to get that one out so I could see it. Uh, it's been spiking for about a month so it just really started opening up. Um, this is a Colmenara Wildcat right here. I think it's the Carmilla clone. Um, I've got some Shari babies that are spiking. So here's one. Um, I've got another spike here. Oh, this is on the Colmenara Wildcat. Uh, so here's a spike right there. Uh, this is my... Dendrobium, Dendrobium, I think this is, I don't think it's silver wings, it's um, royal wings, royal wings. Uh, it's been in bloom since the iOS spring show. Um, I would expect a several month bloom out of it. So it's, it's a big, tall uh, Latoria type Dendrobium and uh, it's Blooming very prolifically. I have, or I had, oh, I hope they didn't fall off. Oh, no, here they are. Um, two buds on my Frosty Dawn uh, Wings of Fire, but it's not open yet. So this one, I'm, it will be, um, it'll look like 
this Frosty Dawn, but it's going to have a big orange lip instead of that pale Albo whitish lip. Um, nobly type dendrobiums. I've got this right here that's in bloom. I guess I should try to turn it so I can see it better. Um, this is Lucky Angel Smash. Uh, I have more uh, Nobile type Dendrobium hybrids right here. This is Fairy Moon Sweetie. And you can see it's got lots of flowers. And then this over here is um, Wave King Echinobo right there. So uh, I am dropping lipstick plant flowers all over myself as I bend down here. Okay, so my aristocrat's done. It's just sitting there. Um, my Selogeny, uh, right here is in bloom. Um, this thing actually, it doesn't seem to be seasonal. It like blooms all the time, blooms in the summer, whatever. Uh, problem with it is that all the blooms are really weak so it's floppy 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 it likes to be really wet um let's see it's what is it which selogeny and it's a confusa so it's selogeny confusa there we go oh what do i have here a whole bunch of dendrobium fimbriatums at every pot um don't think I have anything on this shelf here. Oh, let's see. This is a um, Actual Biologia Pygmy by H and R right here. Uh, I got this at the um, CBG after sale. Trying to keep it alive. It was really dry, really dry. Um, Okay, more nobly de type dendrobiums. This is my Spring Dream Apollon right here. I love this. This I got as a uh, kiki and um, have very slowly grown it up and it very reliably blooms every year. This is my Sunny Days, um, Sunny Bird, Sunny Day, oh, Sunny Bird Shine Day right here. That's um, from Hauserman's. I got it from their open house. All right. This is the many pieces of my Dendrobium Mini Slovic. So it was one piece, and then it was sitting here, and I noticed that the blooms that had not opened were not opening, and they were turning yellow. They were looking like this right here, and the growths were looking yellow. And then when I looked at them, if you look down here at this growth, should have probably gotten rid of this one. So it's green up at the top, but then the growth itself was turning brown. And so I went through vigorously and I ripped a whole bunch of those growth. Like, see, this one's doing it too. And I ripped a whole bunch of those growths out because I was afraid they might be rotting. And of course, when I did that, um, bunches of the plant fell apart. So now I have several uh, mini snowflakes. I mean, basically, I repot it while it's blooming because I was afraid it was rotting to death. Um, so I hope one of the pieces survives that great, um, disaster, but I was really afraid that bits of it were dying. Um, let's see, the Dendrobium Cuthbertsonii are still blooming. They're so happy. Uh, so you see I have, I have the, I have four of them. This one, the bicolor, which is the least vigorous of all of them is not in bloom, but the other ones are all in bloom. I have a Kingianum. Let's see, this is supposed to be Stardust by Season's Greeting. Um, putting out yet more spikes. Uh, this one right here, this darker one, is supposed supposedly, we believe it is, Jonathan's Glory Dark Joy, and this was given to me. Um, and it's actually a kiki that she gave me that had some spikes on it. And so I potted it up. And uh, it looks like it's doing really well. It looks like it even has some new roots. And hey, the flowers even opened. Let's, all right. So then um, my Phalaenopsis um, Sogo Vivian is still in bloom. 
Uh, my Schilleriana is done. Down here, I have got um, this right here is Oncidium Twinkle Fragrance Fantasy. And um, I just divided it. I bought it, it was really small, and I just divided it and get, and then I sent a piece of that to somebody. Um, but, and theirs is blooming too. But here's mine, very nice. Um, so I have stuff spiking, what's spiking? This is my, it uh, looks like Space Race Cocoa is spiking. Um, not both Space Race Cocoa and uh, Burigara Kalawi, Kulawi Toe. Looks like it's spiking, I think. Yes. Um, and then looks like there's a Zygo back in there that is also spiking. Um, I don't know which one it is and I can pull it out right now. Okay, so I don't have any Richard Mueller's in bloom right. Oh, I do, I do. I do have one right here, almost hidden right here. So I believe this is Melody Fair by Richard Mueller. Let me look. Uh, Richard, Richard's Bonanza, which is um, Richard Mueller by Bonanza Queen. I think I used to have one point have two of these and they were differently colored, but I love my Richard Mueller crosses. Okay, so uh, I have this. This is, um, what is it? It's Scheherazade. The Scheherazade clone of Jewel Box. So this is a Jewel Box Scheherazade. Whoops, I'm dropping that tag. So this one, unfortunately, it's it's badly placed because I found it, and before I turned it around, the flowers were growing into the rack, and so um, it's not well placed to enjoy the flowers. Let's see. Okay, this is my Elsie Rojo. It's coming out of bloom. This is Love Passion Orange. It's also coming out of bloom. This is uh, currently, I have a lot of Catleas uh, that have Rantiaca in the background blooming right now, like the Jewel Box has Rantiaca in the background. The Rojo has Rantiaca in the background. Um, and then of course my Rantiacas are in bloom. So here's one. And then I have a second one right here. There are actually two different ones and they have different patternings on the lip. Um, see, I have my Caribbean orange bowl. Um, you know, the blooms have been open for a while. I have, this is my Lake Kachuma New Spring, which has also been open for a while. The flowers are a little cupped. A lot of these, see, they're dry around the edges. And I am trying very hard to keep everything watered, but it just seems like not enough. Uh, my Awanagar Apple Blossoms are all coming into bloom. I love Awanagar Apple Blossom, and I have lots of them. So this right here is the Fantastic Clone. Uh, and I have several of these. I have another one that I've been trying to grow in semi-hydro. So you can see I got it from Waldo Orchids and it's only got a bud. It has not established well in semi-hydroponics. Um, I think it's, this is just one of those ones where it prefers much more to be in bark. Uh, my uh, Guatemalensis, which has a round tiaka in the background, is almost completely done. You can see all those dried flowers. Just got a few late opening clusters left. Um, my Layla, let's see, I think this is Jill Sindrin. It's um, Jamaica Red by Peggy Huffman. It's got a lot of Brutonia in it. Coming in bloom. Hello, Pinto. Can you get out of the way so I can get off? Pinto, can you move? Pinto, Pinto. Hey, can you move? 
Can you move, please? Thank you. Uh, I have I have one more nobly typed Androbium that's still in bloom here. Um, I see. I think this is Love Memory Fizz, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's no Violet Fizz Luna. It's Violet Fizz Luna. Uh, here is more um, Shari Baby. This is Sweet Fragrance. There's my Venosa behind it. I have some um, Epithylums blooming as well. This is the Dendrobium Aphrodotum. I'm so pleased I got it to bloom though. It looks so dry now, despite the fact that I did miss the moss. I missed it, it missed it, and it's still super dry. Um, here is Maggie Daly. It's finishing up. You can tell that by the brown edging on the flowers. Uh, let me see. Oh. Come around, shelf by shelf. So here is my Sunny Delight. I have this cross with Richard Mueller. I have a community pot of it that I split up into individual ones and none of those have bloomed yet. Um, so sad. But here is Sunny Delight by itself. Um, I have lots of my catacetums are waking up. Very awake. This is a phylum. It's supposed to be a variegated phylum who's, well, got no leaves now, really, but supposed to be scented. Let's see. Oh, yes, it is. I like it. It smells really nice. This is Tratuani. I love the look of that flower. This is my Lodigesi which is blooming. Oh, I'm so pleased I got it to flower. I mean, it said, I mean, it looks so dry. It looks, I mean, the roots look so dry. Everything looks so dry on it, but I guess it was just the right amount. Um, here's a little no ID um, mini fowl that's blooming right here. I have both Aussie chip, which is crossed with um, Atraviolaccia, and I have um, Mini Chip, which is the cross with Norman Baez. And I don't know if you can see it here, but you know, my microchip is way smaller than my Aussie chips. Um, this is an Aussie chip, and this is an Aussie chip next to it, and they're just much larger than my microchip. Um, this is um, Atraviolaceum right here next to it. Yeah, it's in bloom still. Here. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's not Atraviolaceum. That's a Barrens. So you so so mini chip is a Barrens cross to um, Norman Baez, which is what used to be Atraviolaceum pygmy, and um, Aussie chip is a Barrens crossed to. Uh, Atraviolaceum. All right, so oh, my Vitalina is still in bloom despite its damaged flower, um, which I'm glad because it took forever to spike. Uh, my Epi Macrum is finishing up here. You can see the remains of the Epiphylum. The thing about Epiphylum, they only bloom like one day. Two days max. So, and they've inserted themselves inside into my orchids. Uh, I have the coconut orchid Maxillary tenuifolia in bloom. I have two of them. So I have one that's this orange with these spots, and then I supposedly I have one that's like more red, which is right here in this pot. You can, can't even see it. And it, the second, the redder one didn't bloom. Like, see, this is all from the first plant. And the redder one has put out no flower spikes and you know they're right next to each other um so i don't know 
I don't know what's going on. Um, they're both in, in moss. Um, I was hoping both of them would spike and we would see the flowers together and compare them, but that hasn't happened. All right, coming down here. Uh, nothing in bloom on this shelf. Hopefully everything's still alive. My, I think this was in bloom on the last update. And this is Kukara Tropical Snowflake. All right, my reed stem epidendrums are not doing well. So this thing had sort of these kikis at the top and I thought, hey, I'll repot it, put the kikis down in moss and um, like, Half this kiki has been eaten by Pinto. He's just awful. It's good it's a no ID. Um, he's also eating this thing that's supposedly an encyclia radiata, but it is so small, I don't know. And in fact, I don't know if it's gonna make it because it might all be consumed before it gets a chance to bloom. My Phragmopedium, Paul Eugene Conroy, all four flowers are now open on it. Ah, more of Wanagar apple blossom. So I also have this one. It doesn't have a clonal name, though it looks a lot like Carmella. Um, Cause yeah, it doesn't have a clonal name. It just it just says apple blossom. It's from Calipana Tropicals. And then I have another one that I'm waiting for it to open. And if they're the same, I'll get rid of one of them. This is another one of our apple blossom. Okay, here are my blooming reeds and epidendrums. I put them in the middle of this Gamisha plant to protect them from Pinto eating them. I have an orange, um, almost red, and a yellow open. Um, I have another one of our apple blossom. This is fantastic over there. It is a little bit too close to the edge because you can see right here, Pinto came through and took some big chomps out of it. Um, I've got a belly R of some kind that has two flowers. It looks like the top of that spike blasted for some reason. Uh, this Luisendorf Rhine Moonlight Zygo that I uh, dumpster dive for is still blooming. So awesome dumpster pickup. Um, this is my Jenkinsy, and it's so awesome. It's in bloom, finally. It took me like four years to bloom this. I am so proud of it. I know that there are people with far more blooms on theirs, but this took me so long to bloom that I'm proud of it. And I have to say, when I was looking this up on the internet, if you look at the two flowers on this, right, they look very similar, but the plants, are completely different and and their bloom habit is different so see this is just a couple one or two flowers on each spike um, so see that one's two right whereas this is like um, it makes a panicle the one remaining bloom on my yellow bird here is my large encyclia radiata that's still in bloom. So the thing about the radiata is that this is why I don't think the other one is one because the pseudobulbs on it are so small. And the pseudobulbs on this are huge. Look at how big they are. That's why I don't think that one's a radiata, but I'll have to bloom it out and look at the flower to see if it is or not. So I think that's everything that's in bloom. I have, I mean, I have, more Awanagar apple blossom um, clones uh, that are in spike, like right here. Um, actually, yeah, so that one is, that's right here. I think this is Nissa. Um, it's like yellow. So I have, I can't show it today because I have to wait for it to come into bloom. So there we go. That is my April What's Blooming update oh no that's not it um i've also got this is um a gower ramsey that's still in bloom i have the remains of a richard mueller 
right here that's in let me see it's drying out these are all very old blossom it's it's not richard Mueller. it's it's a richard Mueller cross this is um sunset glory which is richard Mueller by um perperata so and then i have this guy right here i don't know if people can see this i'm a little suspicious about the blossoms on this. So I had more blossoms, but Pinto came by and ate them. Yeah, he's a real problem. Um, so if you look at this, um, trick or treat, this is trick or treat, and trick or treat is supposed to be uh, orange. It's very hard to show this. It's supposed to be a regular orange. My trick or treat, it doesn't look like color break or anything, but if you look at it, it seems to have faint hints of red on the petals. And I don't know if that's bad or good. I don't know if that's a problem. Um, the flowers are misshapen because they kind of grew into the shelving and then I had to pick them out. And then once I exposed them, like I said, Pinto came by and had some munchie. So um, I had more flowers, but they had been eaten. So I just don't know. Uh, I wonder about this one. I wonder if it's okay or um, if it's not. So that is my update for April. I hope you saw some stuff that you liked um, and you would want to add to your own collection. And if you saw something that I didn't notice that I should be alerted, please feel free to leave a comment.